when you are under God's line, whatsoever you do, you prosper. Champion Ways Chapel presents Power Zone TV. With Dr. Sam Owusu, the presiding bishop of Champion Ways Ministries. And the president of Covenant Mission Bible College, which has trained over 7,000 pastors and prophets. Dr. Sam Owusu is an uncompromising prophetic and apostolic Holy Ghost revival preacher. As you watch this program, you will experience the supernatural revelations, insights to recharge your spirit for revolution. Keep watching same station, same time, this and every 5.30 a.m. with Dr. Sam Owusu. Experience the power, the fire, the glory. Change is coming. Telephone 0246 721283. That number again is 0246 721283. Champion Ways is always a life changing experience. Ideas are the fuel of life. Grace is the oil for the move. Men cause the motion. Champion Ways Chapel presents International Oil to Prosper Conference 2013 from Monday the 22nd to Sunday the 28th of July with great apostolic and prophetic agents of God. Dr. Isaac Quay, Word of Life Church, Bishop James Sa, Action Chapel, Reverend Steve Mensah, Sam, Bishop Salifu Amwaku, Alive Chapel, Dr. Sam Ope, Nigeria, Dr. Bernard Taylor, Denmark and your host, Dr. Sam Owusu, the senior pastor of Champion Ways Chapel International. You are coming and as an agent of God. You are coming and as a messenger of God. Send the society. Time is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. Venue, Champion Ways premises behind Atala Limited, Achimoto School Hospital Road. Don't forget it is your time to be anointed as a king. This is the oil to prosper. You are coming and as an agent of God. You are coming and as a messenger of God. To change the society. To change our families. To change the nation. To change the revelation. Shout yes! I prophesy. God will help you. Devil will help you. No weapon. Form against you. So prosper. When God set you up. No man. Hey, can shut you down. Hey, when God hey, bless you, hey, no man hey, can kill you. Power Zone TV. Ministry is your life. A church is what you do. Ministry is your entire life. You have everything to do with your full life. Whether you are preaching or not preaching, whether you go to church or you don't go to church, as long as you are a Christian, you have a ministry. Every Christian has a ministry. It's not every Christian that has a church. Because Christianity is bigger than church. Church is a small portion a very small portion of a ministry. Ministry is your life. It's your Christian life. The values of Christianity. The totality of God's agenda being accomplished is ministry. The totality of God's agenda. God, Jesus Christ coming to the earth to die is a ministry. A church is just a portion of the ministry. It's to help to achieve the ministry. So don't be mistaken to say that if you don't have a church, you are not in ministry. Don't be mistaken to say that if you are not preaching in ministry. Because ministry is a total life. Is the full life of the Christian person, of the born again or the call out? Am I communicating? Church can even limit a ministry, and that is the reason why we are not doing much as is expected of us as pastors and as Christians. 
because church has become the little auditorium for instance if you have a church that is even ten thousand, and you don't actually understand the power of ministry you'll be limited to the assignment god is given to you because ministry focus the world the church focus the local center ministry focus the world the church focus on the local people the people that are present so if you are not careful and you do not identify ministry and you mistake ministry for church and church for ministry you will be short of what god wants you to achieve because if you are able to build an auditorium that is five thousand you may think that you have achieved success you may think that god has blessed you because just having a church of five thousand or ten thousand or fifty thousand and that's what is happening in the world now measure ministry according to the size of the church but what we need to understand jesus never came to start a church even the man we are following he never start a church he never had a church but he had a ministry and his ministry bless everybody because he was not limited church because of church there are certain things god wants some of you to do you cannot do there are certain messages god wants you to preach you can preach there are certain truths and certain revelations the lord wants you to reveal you can reveal there are certain right life you want to live you cannot live church has put some of us into the corner instead of becoming a global life changers church is good but hear me don't let us mistake church for ministry because or else we will not accomplish the real thing that god wants us to accomplish because the moment you begin to understand the system of church and you are so glued to your church you'll be limited by doctrines that does not allow the members to go and does not allow the members to flow and therefore you are killing many destinies because god wants as many as many people in the church to maybe have their gift exploit but some of us pastors if we pray for the church members too much for their gift to come out they may go and start their church or something and we are afraid and therefore we keep them in the church every day you are the only prophet the only anointed the only general overseer the only seer the only di prophetic director let us be very careful and come to the days of the apostles the apostles started the church and it was not pastors that were in charge of church the, those who were heading churches were elders and deacons church were not headed by apostles church were not headed by prophet because bef by the time you become the head of the church there is a certain limitation that you have placed upon yourself that will limit you to be able to flow as the right person god wants you to flow so that is why in the bible time if you are clapping you can clap better you need to wake up and we need to, we must come to the place of understanding whereby our focus of ministry will be too much than that of church or else christ will come and we will not see christ have come will be glued to laws will be glued to systems 
will be glued to regulations, doctrines. So much to the stand. Even when the Holy Ghost wants to do something, the church will limit the Holy Ghost. Today, we have churches that have put many destinies into bondage. God wants many people to prosper. But there are churches that doesn't believe in prosperity. But the, only the, pros, the pastor, the man of God is prospering. The man of God must drive a better car. But no church member must drive a better car. Ladies and gentlemen, it is about time you and I need to come to the place. That place of liberality whereby the gospel of Christ will be so paramount to our heart that we don't have any limitation by whatsoever being to limit us from not flowing what God wants us to flow. And I pray for you, instead of being limited by church system, may it be broken by your blood rains and may the grace of God come upon you that you understand a ministry is life and life is Christ. Am I communicating? The moment the church system come into our mentality, we'll begin to think and reason as if we are the God. Mighty 25. Verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Watch this. The kingdom is like a man. Ministry is a kingdom. Church is a department within the kingdom. That is why Jesus never and many times was not talking about the church but he talks about the kingdom. I pray that you will come to the place if you realize something this is wherever you pass every program many programs they are calling kingship kingship anointing kingdom kingdom prosperity until we come and that is where god is taking the church to god is taking the church to the place of the mentality of the kingdom as a king where we will know that we own the land irrespective of the muslims living in the land we still own the land irrespective of the thieves irrespective of the rich and the poor the small and the rich that are staying in the land all of them still belong to us and that will not discriminate because church has become so systematic that we choose even who should enter When people are going to church, then they have to they have to look a certain type. There is a certain dress they must take to church, or else God will not talk to them. That is a total lie. So does it mean that when you are naked in the bathroom, God does not talk to you? Church is limiting God than the devil. We have made church so much that if you don't have money, you can't go to church. It's good to dress decently. It's good to give offering and to give seed. But hear me, honey. That is not church. It is a system that is corrupting the grace of God. So until you and I will come to the place of liberty, where, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty. But yet, now today where the spirit of the law is there is captivity we instead of liberty we are using the spirit to capitalize people we have forgotten that a king's house 
the royals are permitted to come to the king and the slaves are also permitted to come to the king including the strangers they are permitted to come to the king but in the church system strangers are looked upon some some kind of ways how will you take it we are having a church and a woman with my feet and kind of and start speaking in tongues how many of you will not criticize what see a rastafarian come to church and i give him a microphone to sing a song worship some of you will be disconnected from the worship and be looking at the man how can bishop give a rastafarian microphone to sing until recently that we even see women ministry because church says no god want them church says no god want everybody to be a blessing to somebody but church say no and that's why many of you you have been locked in your church you don't have any ministry you have the calling some of you we have laid hands on you we have impacted onto you but because the church system says no you cannot do anything there is a job some of you can do better than some people but the church system i see a revolution i said i see a revolution about to speed up upon the surface of ghana whereby some of you will break certain laws we break certain systems we break certain arrangement by the grace of the holy a swift of the spirit a time is coming nothing will be able to limit you anymore yes. and then you will be free to do whatever you want to do ladies and gentlemen if you are not careful you will die and go to heaven and go and face the judgment because of systems of church jesus is coming soon but because of church we are not talking about it again the lord is appearing to some of you but you cannot see even when you go and tell your pastor Oh, all these things we are, you know, when we were small boys, we saw it. See, now I want to talk to you. Because of church, we are compared to lie. Compared to say things that are not there, as if they are there. Ladies and gentlemen, my vision from now is to cause a revolution. And I see some of you being part of it. A day of crazy. Where you walk through the street of Accra. You go to where the prostitutes are. You go to where the junks, the shots. Where the capos have met. And you will lie hands on them. And turn them to Christ. A day, a day is coming. When some of you, the spirit will carry you. Like, like the days of Philip. And it will carry you to a hospital. And you will lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. I see a day of revival. And I see a day of revolution. Where some of you. The spirit of God will rest upon you. That you cannot sleep. And you will not be limited by any church. And you will go and preach the gospel. And you will speak the truth. And you will preach the word. Am I talking to somebody here? Lift up your hands and receive revival. Church, church, the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. Number one, who called his own servant? Watch this. You don't call yourself. Somebody call you. Somebody call you. And deliver unto them his goose. Not their goose. 
So number one, you are not of yourself. Number two, the gift is not for you. You answer to God with yourself and you answer to God with your gift. He directs how your gift should be work, not you, not church. If it's not this grace upon me, I would have chosen not to preach. Because the way my body is paining me, if I were you, you would not preach. But because I am not of myself, and the gift is not for me, somebody called me, somebody give me his gift. What belongs to him, he gave it to me. I cannot afford to abuse the opportunity. This is a free thing. Imagine you are there. Somebody take his phone and call you. Come to my house. And then when you go to his house, he said, take my car. This is opportunity God has given to you. And now what are you using the opportunity for? You, number one, your personality answer to the caller. And number two, the gift he gives to you does not belong to you. Somebody call you and the same person gave you a gift. What an opportunity. But now, you bring the gift home and church say no. This cannot be carried to this house. I don't know who I'm talking to this night. But if there is any system that is limiting what God has given to you, they did it last year, they did it last week, but not from now. Because something greater is coming to you that's superior than what you have known. Something that it has never come before. Something you have never experienced before. It's about to rub upon your life. You can't sleep anymore. A time is coming. Some of you will be running by day and night. You will preach by day and night. You will be carrying the gospel of Christ. And you will lay hands on the sick. And this will be recovered. Am I talking to somebody? A day is coming when the anointing of the Holy Ghost will just rest on you. And it will change your agenda. The Bible says Paul has a vision. He was traveling on a certain journey but he met Christ on the way and changed his mind. And Paul said, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. From today, you will not be disobedient to the vision of the heavens and for the idea of God. And for God, you will not make God to cry. Some of you are making God to cry. I call you myself. I give you my gift to myself. But what are you doing with my gift? Why did you bury my gift? If you want to bury it, why didn't you bring it to me? Why didn't you put it in a bank? Where is my gift? I came to tell somebody from today, whatever is blocking your gift, whatever is limiting your ministry, whatever is limiting your assignment, it shall be over by fire. It shall be over by fire. I see revival coming upon somebody. I see the mood of God coming on you again. I see the anointing of God coming back to you. You are rising up. Your faith is rising up. Your idea shall be accepted. Your ministry is coming out. Your favor is coming out. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today and the same forever. God is on your side. Favor is on your side. Power is on your side. Rise up and work. We are in a generation where God is crying. Praise God, hallelujah. I'm so excited you have been watching Powers on TV this morning. Wow, the word of God is coming in the power of God. Now, you understand the word of God that I've been released to you. When you leave, don't come back. 
Don't look back in life. The word has come in power. The anointing of God has been released. The prophetic is right now. To your house right now. Wherever you are. I want to pray with you. Father in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is watching me right now. I pray for the release of glory. I pray for healing. I pray for restoration. I pray for the miracle to be released upon your daughters and sons right now. Let there be a testimony for once. Let us break through in Jesus mighty name. I call it done. God bless you for watching Powers on TV with your man Bishop Sam Ozu. I'll be right back again to be with you. God bless you for watching Powers on TV. We'll take you to the prophetic power, the prophetic time. God bless you. Somebody say, God handle the devil. I want to handle poverty. Go handle the witches. I want to handle sickness in my house. No more disappointment. No more poverty. In the next 20 years, the generation ahead of me, all the children coming, I shall live in heaven. The Bible says the righteous man live an inheritance for his children. children. God is on your side. Service is on your side. Glory is on your side. Power is on your side. Joy is on your side. We don't serve a king. We serve a living God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And the same forever. So much of fire. Fire. We may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. What the Lord has prepared for you, I has not seen. He has have not heard. My dad has entered to the heart. The thing that God has prepared for them that love him. But he has revealed them unto us by the spirit. For the spirit sets in all things. Near the deep things of God. How can we understand the things of the spirit? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. There was nothing that was made without the word. And everything that was made was made by the word. The word is the life. The life is the light. The light shine in darkness. And there was not comprehended. Darkness cannot comprehend it. There was a man sent from heaven. His name is called John. To bear witness to the light. He was not the light. But is the light. But to them that believe, he gave them power to become. God, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. I am the tree of life. I am the dread of joy. The leaves of the valley. I am the apple of your eye. I will save you. I will protect you. When you go to fire, I shall be with you. No weapon from against you shall prosper. Every word that shall rise against you shall be condemned. I am the same yesterday. The same today. And the same forever. You are coming out as an agent of God. You are coming out as a messenger of God. To change the society. To change our families. To change the nation. To change the revelation. Shout yes. I prophesy. God will help you. Never will help you. No weapon. Form against you. So prosper. When God set you up. No man can set you down. When God bless you. No man can kill you. Ideas are the fuel of life. Grace is the oil for the move. Men cause the motion. Champion Waste Chapel presents International Oil to Prosper Conference 2013 from Monday the 22nd to Sunday the 28th of July with great apostolic and prophetic agents of God. Dr. Isaac Quay, Word of Life Church, Bishop James Sarr, Action Chapel, Reverend Steve Mensah, Sam, Bishop Salifu Amwaku, Alive Chapel, Dr. Sam Ope, Nigeria, Dr. Bernard Taylor, Denmark and your host, Dr. Sam Owusu, the senior pastor of Champion Ways Chapel International. You are coming out as an agent of God. You are coming out as a messenger of God. Of society. Time is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. Venue, Champion Ways premises behind Atala Limited, Achimoto School Hospital Road. Don't forget it is your time to be anointed as a king. This is the oil to